My name is Patrick Paja. I'm a vet. I've been working for some, for some years in clinical practice. And I'm also an ethologist, meaning that I'm studying the behavior of animals and humans too. And during my work uh, in studying behaviors, I've been specially dedicating time to studying uh, chemical communication, uh, which has led me to develop some uh, special interest and strategies in using uh, chemical communication in therapeutic purpose. Semiochemistry is a new field which comes from the study of chemical communication. When we are speaking about chemical communication, we speak about using some specific signals and the old, the word in old Greek, which is semios, means signal information, sign. And so semiochemistry is a field of behavioral uh, approach and science, which is specially dedicated to study the signals which are based on using chemicals to uh, deliver some information. The word chemical makes people to be very afraid, very concerned, because there is some kind of mistake thinking that chemistry is on the opposite of life and nature. Life is a chemical phenomenon. Everything in, the, in our body is chemical. Uh, the molecules which, which are responsible for building our body are chemistry. And chemical communication is just the use of this chemistry outside the body to share information between individuals. On speaking about chemical communication, people usually think about pheromones because it's, we can say that it's the most famous concept. Uh, about chemical communication. This word is a little bit restrictive since it's just about chemical signals which are responsible for communication between individuals belonging to the same species. But after years studying chemical communication, all the scientists went to the, the idea that it's a little bit naive because in many cases, we know pheromones which are working between individuals belonging to different species, which is the reason why we prefer to speak about semiochemistry and semiochemicals, pheromones being included in semiochemicals, but being a concept that we less and less use. Semiochemicals are very interesting because it's a way for humans to negotiate to discuss with living with other living creatures in a way which is predictable if you use your body communication if you speak if you use body language you can orientate more or less the behavior and sometimes the physiology of some animals but you can't predict it it depends on previous experiences for those animals with semiochemistry, with semiochemicals, you can predict it because it will activate something which is not connected with the cortex part, the cortical part of the brain, but which is automatically leading to some reactions. This is a very important point with uh, semiochemistry.